All right. What's going on? Uh, a couple of things, but I would say f- first and foremost, um, if you are out there and you are trying to get your hands on some bootleg Pokemon, you might want to think again. Because... Uh, well, if you live in Japan. Yeah, in particular, uh, we've got... And from Kyoto Prefecture, a 36-year-old man has been arrested by Japanese police for creating and selling rare varieties of Pokemon online. Uh, an interior decorator uh, used an unspecified modification device to sh- alter the stats of Pokemon and was offering them for sale and apparently managed to rack up a couple million yen in sales um, and has since been arrested and he confessed to the police uh, that he did it to earn a living. They're further investigating uh, the, the full extent of his modifications to his illegal modifications to the Nintendo Switch hardware and uh, his save datas uh, uh, of Pokemon, which are also, again, illegal, uh, as he violated the Unfair Competition Prevention Act, something that was passed in 2019. Um, and... Oh, this seems like fair competition that Nintendo is using the police to stop unfairly. And faces uh, potential years in prison. Um, depending years in prison, depending on how this goes. So, uh, yeah, uh, modding like okay. So anytime a mod goes into a selling situation, like the like with the the paddle world shit and all that, you always know it's gonna get legally dicey. But police came to this dude's house and fucking arrested him for modding Pokemon. Is where we're at. Like Japan actually is willing to pull you in and potentially have you arrested for years and the thing is with that like if you consider i guess the nature of um any any law that you can be like that's not like a financial crime that you can be arrested for is one that means that failure to comply with said law could potentially escalate to retaliation of violence right Mm -hmm. so if someone were to in a situation like again resist or anything were to ask to go beyond that point you're you're basically having something where like the idea of modifying a game save file and saving that could lead to someone getting hurt or killed it's uh it's just a, a there's like a bit of a thought experiment as to like every time you have something that people can be arrested for is it worth it for them to potentially face like violence as a result the idea that Japan will arrest you for Pokemon modding is fucking insane. Even I mean, the, there's a the lot financial of, aspect. That's wild. There's a lot of nonsense that you could think of in your mind here. Uh, you could think of... Um, bro, Nintendo's willing to put people away for years over their Pokemon shit. What were you all yelling about with fucking Pal World? Right. <laughs> like, like, I, I, like so- you're nuts. So the thing is, too, like, there's always a weird element to it where, like, you get the feeling that, like, this is, again, the, like, cops are busting in and, like, pull, like are pulling the dude in down to the precinct, right? You get the feeling that it's like, no one is going to kick your door down and drag you away in handcuffs if you were bootlegging monster ranchers. You know? If you had, if you had counterfeit fighting food-ons... I don't think that you would be getting pulled into potential uh, 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 jail time for that. Yeah. Yet, because Pokemon is this big, important national franchise that is such a big deal, it has this extra level of, I can't believe you're fucking with our national shit. It, I can't believe you're willing to, like, if you're, if you're fucking with Pokemon, that's that's important. And you now you have to pay the price for it. it I mean, like, the second thing that I think of about how absurd this is is like fucking thank goodness Nabuhiro Watsuki didn't have any bootleg Pokemon on his computer next to all that child pornography, or he might have actually done jail time. Oh no, not Kenshin. God forbid. <laughs> and it, once again, the 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 hero, the 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 manga uh 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 legend the that is kenshin the that is a an international exported important thing that you know the commonality here is the 
need need you need to protect the thing that is important and big and popular that is a a major part of our culture exported it's that's it's crazy it's crazy i this is like the absolute most absurd like when people are like yeah the cops only exist to protect the capital of the fucking business class and yada yada you're like whatever but like this well stupid shit is so crazy well so in america it's what can we do what can nintendo do we can get the pinkertons at your door can we get the cops at your Sons door? Goons to your house. We can't get the cops at your door. No. Can we get the Supreme Court on your ass? No, probably not. But what can no. we do? We can hire private. Goons. We can hire private. Okay, cool. Back home, what can we do? Oh, we can get it in official. We can get actual cops showing up. Cool. All right, run it. Yeah. Did you dress up like Mario at Halloween? Straight to jail. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> Did you not dress up as Mario? Straight to jail. Um, there were. <laughs> There at the at the fucking sugar shack I went to yesterday, there was a Mario and Luigi mascot walking around taking pictures with the kids. Posing next to the 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 Tierce sur la neige like fucking, you know. Yeah, that shit that shit lasts forever cuz who's going to fucking tell anyone? Right? Little did li- little did I know that that mascot's life was on the line putting on that mario outfit straight like to the those gulags dudes that dress up like spider-man to go do kids birthday parties that being said marvel is almost as insane i yeah and will like bulldoze children's graves that have spider-man on them I, yeah, I mean there is that um like also full disclosure like the uh Times square spongebob shit makes me extremely uncomfortable because like the further out of the correct context that someone in a mascot costume is, the more creepy and weird and disturbing it is. Because it's like, I don't, who the fuck are you that you just bought this on eBay and now you're putting it on and now you're hanging around and taking pictures with kids? Like, who is that? What are you doing? We're not at Nintendo World or Disney or any... We're, in, we're at a fucking sugar shack in the cabin up north. Why are you... Why is Mario here? <laughs> you know? Um, and there was, a, there was also a, a, a Paw Patrol walking around then it just feels like i like out of the context of the place that the mascot should be the further we are away the more weirded out i am uh but anyways um yeah yeah actual jail time now for for video video game crimes um up to five years potentially five million in fines and uh, up to five fucking years yeah it's it's just like I don't think any. Well, we sit here and I have to Google where I'm watching Fallout. <laughs> like I, I, the... I'm watching it on Amazon, of course. Of course. Um, again, I don't think anybody like expects that the moment something goes into like, oh, are you selling your mods and shit? Yeah, you're gonna get into deeper trouble than a a, a regular cease and desist. You're gonna get a more than a spanking would be expected because um, that's a stupid move. But the expect, but the thought is that it would be financial, you know, because you, you're fucking around with money. You're do- and like, It's going to go to that point. Um, literally getting locked up over that is is madness. But uh, yeah, that's I, I, I'm not too sure what about the, the full extent of this law, but apparently it's it's a recent one from only a couple is, years ago. So not to get too political, but uh, is it Vietnam that just sentenced that landlord lady to death? What? I have not heard of this. I believe it's Vietnam. Uh, okay. The real estate billionaire in Vietnam stole 3% of the country's GP- GDP. Um, and as, as a result of her financial crimes, she has been sentenced to death. Holy fuck. She stole Whoa. like twelve billion dollars. Three percent, like of the national GDP. Ah, uh, what the fuck? Hey, listen, I will say if you're gonna go big, go as big as you can, and not, that's pretty fucking big. 
wow okay into into capital punishment okay yeah i'm looking at the photo of her at the trial she does not look excited oh my god <laughs> yeah i don't think when you're when you're doing the when you're doing the land crimes the 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 consequences <laughs> ever in your brain that it would be like literally execution um i think in many cases the thought is well you, you you take your risk expecting that, yeah, many years in jail my, or giant crazy fines or whatever the case is, but 3%. Holy fuck. Okay, wow. She just ran like a, a land scam where she made a fake bank and then had the fake bank withdraw money from the government. <laughs> just over and over and over and over and over and over. Okay, well, <laughs> um, yeah, the, the effect you have on the entire population of the nation is fucking psychotic for this that the level that we're describing here uh, i don't know that capital punishment is necessarily that you, there can be a discussion about whether that should be meted oh, out yeah, for this like type of crime between that's fucking the, insane the but the wow between these two neighboring countries of capital says go to jail versus literally death to capital and then you have china in the middle there which is i mean the you know their their deal Asia's crazy. Jesus Christ. So, are we then are, l capital punishment for Pokemon save file crimes? It's only a matter of time. This is this is not the natural conclusion, right? This is where we go. Like Pikachu holding I, the guillotine. I mean, if Nintendo, listen. If Nintendo had their way, they would shoot you in the face for playing a Nintendo game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucked up. Okay. Um Do you want to talk about Evil Cross Sesame Street? 